everyone. I have been sent this glorious mermaid hair from Beauty Wigs. So this beauty is Blue Lagoon and it's just like mermaid hair goals. It's a glorious turquoise colour you can see in the sun and it has a navy blue root which I'll just show you around in just a second. But it's just gorgeous, really gorgeous. It's synthetic, very very soft. Uh, it has a kind of beachy wave to it, it's quite full, um, but the beachy wave is like total hair, mermaid hair goals, and I thought the hat went. So I'll show you around. So the lace front on this I have cut. Um, I used a pinking shear because that will prevent any future fraying. It's always good to use a pinking shear if you've got lace to cut on a wig. Um, this one, otherwise I've not done a great deal to it. So um, this would definitely benefit from a little bit of dry shampoo to take the shine away, certainly closer to the root. The darker the blue goes, the more shine it kind of picks up. So when you hit the light, you'll see it. But um, a little bit of dry shampoo will sort that right out. And this would also benefit from some plucking in the middle. So you have a lace section here, which is quite a big U section. So it kind of goes back to around here and then comes down like this. And it would benefit for some extra plucking here. And then you will get more of that scalpy look, which um, helps to create the look of realism. So it's quite full, quite a lot of hair. But um, yeah, the more I wear the colour, the more it's grown on me. But really, really fun. Really fun. So I'll just show you around the inside of the cap. So this is the section, the lace section that I was talking about. So it's quite deep into the hair. Um, and then this is the bit that you can see. So like I said, plucking a little bit more here from the other side, um, you'll get more scalp show through. And then I might do the hairline as well, just to kind of get that, stop the line being too de definite kind of across. Um, otherwise, the rest of the cap, it's basically wefted around here, but it's covered um, with the kind of lining, if you like. Um, adjustable here. And then if you have hair, it does have some handy combs here and here for extra gripping into your hair. But um, for me, not having hair, it, it makes no, it doesn't affect my wearing at all. Um, it's got the lace nape here as well. Um, and then the lace does go right down. So this is around the ear section. So you can um, customize this to make it kind of work for you. And then um, I wore it a minute ago without gluing, um, but then you could glue around this bit here just to kind of help that kind of lace hairline, um, put some baby hairs in there as well. Uh, and then it'd be a bit more of a realistic look. I'll just show you inside the box as well. So you've got two hair caps included, a dark and a lighter. Um, so again, if you have hair, you would need this underneath just to kind of keep everything contained. And it also came with some extra grips as well. So if you, I don't know, needed them to grip into your hair for fitting as these as well. So my head is, um, average but kind of on the small end of average and the fit was good um i think i had it on the no i didn't have it on the smallest actually i had the on the next to smallest um but the fit certainly compared to other fashion wigs that i've tried before that have been of this similar kind of floppy cap um the fit was good um for me which is um it's good to see as well so this is the back the roots up close so it is that kind of navy blue blending into the turquoise but yeah really fun really fun style <laughs>